Restore Pennsylvania. Today, Governor Tom Wolf and Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman stopped in Sharon to get a closer look at the battle against blight. Wolf also talked about his plan to revitalize communities across Pennsylvania. It's a new tax that he said would not cost a penny. Starting at the corner of East Silver and Fifth Avenue, Governor Tom Wolf walked the streets of Sharon this afternoon. I'm impressed that they took the time out from their schedules to come here and walk, walk our blighted neighborhoods. <laughs> Governor Wolf wanted to see the first-hand impact that his proposed Restore Pennsylvania project could have on Pennsylvania communities like Sharon. These are the problems. You are the experts. What's the, what is it that we can do to, to help? Well, it's not by loading on more ideas. You don't need them. You got them. What you need is some dollars. Restore Pennsylvania would be funded by a severance tax, which is proposed to bring in $4.5 billion over the next four years. This money will go toward helping communities address blight, expand broadband access, mitigate the effects of localized flooding, and expand green infrastructure. Let's, let's take something that every other state's doing, and we're all paying for their roads and bridges because we all pay the severance tax every time we fill up our car with gasoline or we use a plastic product, we're paying someone's severance tax. So let's have them pay for us. And it's a tax that both Governor Wolf and Lieutenant Governor Fetterman say has bipartisan support. An abandoned home and a derelict property looks the same in a red county as it does in a blue county. You know. Governor Wolf emphasized that Pennsylvania's communities have great ideas, but they lack the resources necessary to tackle the problems. And that's where he wants to come in and help. For whatever it is we're going to do, we need money. And, and let's take that money and then apply it in the best, most productive, most supportive possible way we can. And for Sharon's local leaders like Dave Tomko that deal with these issues every day, he says this plan is what Pennsylvania communities need. The people that live in these neighborhoods are proud of the neighborhoods, but some of the things are out of their control and we need to help them. And the governor has come here with his staff to help us. Pennsylvania is the only state that does not have a severance tax, but is the second largest natural gas producing state right behind Texas. Now you can learn more about what could be fixed in your community with Restore Pennsylvania. We posted all of the details on our website at WKBN.com.